Welcome to Last Week in Gaming. Uh, we're going to cover last week's news. <laughs> last Week in Gaming. We're going to cover <laughs> last week's best news uh, today for you. And uh, we're going to start today off with Final Fantasy XV having been reportedly delayed. No. How is that good news? It could I be. said it's, we're going to start with news. Oh, you said good news. Well, it can be good it news. It could be good news. All right. And, and this close to release, it's probably good news. I would hope so. Okay. I mean, it's already been 10 years. What's two more months, right? <laughs> I mean, I personally think that there's only two reasons why they're delaying this. Either they found game-breaking bugs, or either they might have reached data freeze point. Explain, and, explain that to those who are... So data games. freeze is basically when you're making a game, and the producers come and tell you, okay, so this is the date that in which if you have not finished something, it gets cut off of the game. Yeah. That's basically the data freeze. Yeah. So maybe they reach data freeze and they don't want to delete stuff. So they say like, you know what, let's delay. People have been waiting enough already. Okay. Well, or they, the other option. Or the other option is that. Right. Well, actually there was a, um, an interview between somebody and I think it's, what's, his, what's the director's name? He said actually that um, at the current stage of the game, what they want to do is they had such grand ideas for this game. The last thing they wanted to do was cut anything out. Yeah. So what they what he said basically is that he would rather delay the game uh -huh. and make sure that all the content that they had planned for stays in it, yeah. rather than take the easy way and just cut out any. Let's say he could like reduce the number of let's say enemies on screen, right. or reduce the number of particles that are appearing during you know the the the, the gameplay to in, to make sure the frame rate is stable. Mm -hmm. Because this is a very like if you played the demo, it's a very heavy graphical game. Yeah. So you know what it could be in that case if that's what we're going towards more. Then it's most probably that they need the time to finish, just finish putting the polish on their stuff, and then it's all about optimization because mm -hmm. there were rumors that have been going around that. Final Fantasy 15 is still, from a technical standpoint, very buggy. So that there have there, there are quite a bit of problems. So I don't, I'm not surprised that a delay having happened, and a two months delay. Two months is a lot of time to get your bugs worked out. Yeah. Okay, especially in a game of that size, it's a rather large game. This is two a months big game. is still. This is a big. Game. Hoping that they haven't ramped down. Um, they'll likely even if they have ramped down. Uh, I feel like Square Enix would not have a problem re uh, reshuffling around like a QA department and like their their extra extra set of programmers to like start working stuff out, right? But the yeah. game is essentially done, right? The, I mean, they, at this point, all they're doing is just fine tuning. Yeah, basically. Okay. Um, I mean, let's hope. You know, they delayed it two months. Uh, doesn't mean they won't delay it again. Um, but I think that. I mean, I know, let's hope they don't. Once, is, if you delay once, it's one thing. If you delay twice... Dude, this game was supposed to come out 10 years ago. Well, no, they announced it 10 years ago. Uh-huh. Please tell me again how another delay would make such a huge difference after a 10 year wait. Yeah, well, we had a 10 year window here for them to make the game, but we never had an announcement until last year. Right. Right, so now that we have an actual a fixed date of when it was supposed to come out, which was supposed to be September 29th or 30th, I believe, then we were supposed to get a finished game by that point. Now, of course, what's two months in the long stretch of, uh, of this delay? Nothing. Two months is two months. But for a person who is very, you know, I want to play this game, and I'm sure there's a lot of them out there. I really want to play this game. I really want to play this game. Like, some people might not see that way. Some people are going to take it very badly. They might not see the pros to this yeah. delay. Yeah. So, speaking of pros, mm. there is something interesting regarding Final Fantasy XV. More? More good news, actually, if you want to call it good news. Um, there I want are, to call it good news. Uh, there are six planned DLC packs for Ooh, Final Fantasy boy. to be announced. That is... Interesting, right? Because this is going to be the first Final Fantasy to really have downloadable content that would increase oh my god i think it is is this the first final fantasy with dlc because you, you can look at it let's say you know like the x and x2 and then you can look at the you know 13 and you know 13 2 13 2 and verse and what is it, not versus um lightning's return or whatever it's called these are all actual expansions but they're standalone games it's right like, yeah yeah right they're not increasing the the content of the original game these are literal continuations of the original game, which begs the question, will there be a season pass for this type of game? Will there be, um, you know, like, will the content increase the, like, the experience 
globally? Well, or I would hope so. I feel like with six DLC packs, they could just make a new game. I mean, they, 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 they maybe smash. that's their plan. Well, do you think that they're gonna to have, have to have that? Hey, look at let's look at uh, uh, Witcher Three. Sorry to cut you off, but yeah. let's look at Witcher Three. Yeah, they released two con two things of content that added another fifty hours of total content to the yeah. game. Fifty hours of playable content in three DLC or, packs. Or, or what if, if considering how they're handling um, Final Fantasy VII, these six DLCs could be six more episodic episodes? I really don't think so they because they, do I feel like they would have announced that beforehand, or and, and, and it would be a bad a bad PR move to do something like that without saying anything, because then that's like almost like tricking people into buying Final Fifteen, just to say, oh well, if you want the full story, it's going to be coming in the upcoming. No, 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 but it's DLC. you know, it's DLC. It's just more content. Right, but that's hugely different from episodic content. Episodic, if you want to play the whole story, you have to get all the episodes. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, I see your point. Right? So, I don't think that's what it is. I really think it's DLC that will likely add maybe like raids of some kind. Horse armor. Or you drive <laughs> yeah. around in a car, so I doubt it. Car armor. <laughs> car armor. <laughs> car paint jobs. Paint jobs for your Well, I'm car sure car. with the DLCs you're going to get things like, you know. They're, they have names, don't they? Yeah, they have the DLC one is there's a work there's no title yet. Two is episode Gladio, then three is a holiday pack, then up DLC four is episode Holiday Pack? I guess. Episode Ignis. Ignis, then the episode Prompto for five and then expansion pack. Oh, is... these sounds like they're making backstories. Oh, backstory that episodes could be for a lot of fun. Episode Gladio is one of the characters. Episode Prom Ignis is one of the characters. Prom episode Prompto is one of the characters. Expansion pack. That's interesting. Let's get hyped for expansion pack mm. working title. They're all they're all named the working. name and then working title in <laughs> brackets. I mean, this probably is they still haven't finished the the, the 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 game itself. But backstory would make a lot of sense. Yeah, it's a twenty five dollar digital pass too. This is the stuff they couldn't finish within the time frame, basically. <laughs> Um, I'm assuming it's what they want. Or that it wasn't vital to the main story, but that people that get really into it can spend the extra 25 and just go ahead and... Well, with six DLC packs, you're pretty much enriching your experience by an additional six pieces of content here, and that could definitely increase the value of your gameplay. So, in slightly different news, um, you guys, uh, rem you ever heard about the Novo? The anti-hacking... Yes, the anti-hacking that was... Uh, known as not hackable. Yeah, unpenetratable. Unpenetratable. It was used for uh, Just Cause 3 and uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider yeah. yeah. And I know why you're making that face is because I said impenetrable. And you point at me, which is hilarious. But yeah, exactly because I already impenetrable. Know. Impenetrable. I, I already know you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so if you guys recall, people were saying even the hackers were giving up on the Nuvo at some point. Yeah. Because they said they couldn't hack it. Guess what? Apparently they did. Challenge accepted. Challenge completed. <laughs> and I, but there's more to this story because I remember reading about it a little bit. I, I feel as though what happened is there's a hacker by the name of... What's his name? Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot. No, there's a hacker who created an exploit, a temporary exploit, which quickly got patched by the new Yes, yeah, it was a bypass by a Bulgarian hacker that allowed people to... What was his name again? Uh, Box, Boxy? Voxy? Voxy. 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 There you go. That's so it. people were able to play games like Doom, Total Warhammer, and Just Cause 3. Very temporarily, because that instantly got patched by Denuvo, and then you could not get those games anymore. Okay, and then what happened is, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the the group of hackers... Conspiracy, if okay. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Conspiracy, it says right here. Uh, yeah. Uh, just as a matter of hours later, the piracy group Conspiracy received a full crack version of Rise of the Tomb Raider. There you go. So Conspiracy finished off with what he started. Boxy, Boxy, Boxy started. We'll call him Box Bunny, it's easier. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Um, so they finished what he started essentially, mm -hmm. and one of, well basically the world's most unhackable, unhacking Hack. soft software software <laughs> well, like, piracy protection, protection service has been hacked that is a shame well they're just gonna repatch it anyways at this point right if right. they can if they can it's been fully blown right open now i don't know if uh 
blown wide open, not blown, never mind. I'm, I didn't say anything, why is it that always people assume I'm thinking dirty? Because when you make a face like... <laughs> I was wondering if you think it's, it's, my, it's my impressed face. It's your impressed face? Yeah. Oh, here I thought it was your sketch, sketchy, sketchy I'm gonna make a perverted comment I'll face. I'll show you next time. Uh, I think I'll pass. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Where are we um, moving? We are moving to the land of. I'm, not, I'm actually not sure what the place is called. Um, but uh, Pokemon Uranium. Fan fiction? A fan game, more. Um, yeah. After nine years, Pokemon Uranium finally released. So, for those of you who don't know what Pokemon Uranium is, Pokemon Uranium is a fan made game which has been going on for the last nine years, as we said, and it introduced all kinds of stuff, uh, like for example, a new Pokemon type, Uranium type. It's nuclear type. Nuclear type, that's right. And um, a much darker storyline. Yeah. Yes, yeah. much darker. Much, much darker. darker. Like Not Nintendo friendly. Not, Ninten not, not traditionally Nintendo friendly, no. Um, so the game is massive. The game is... It's a full game. It's a full game. It's a full game with their own made Pokemon. Their own starters and their own made legendaries and their own... Because technically, I don't think they're allowed even to use the original Pokemons. So they have to make like Pokemons for, you know, new Pokemons for all the entire game. Which and there's 161, right? Which is fine. Well, no, they're a lot, they, they didn't make the whole thing as not new Pokemon. Not as far as I know. No, they have the original ones too. Yeah, they just oh, they added do. original yes. Pokemon to okay. the game. Yeah. As far as I knew, they but there's were... like Lucario, Groudon, Smag Magmar. I see, I'm seeing like all Smagmar. kinds of other. Smagmar. Yeah, this is Magmar. It's Magmar. But in other uranium news, I think it was not even a week later. Yeah. Dude, what happened, Mike? <laughs> what do you guys think happened? Uranus happened. No, my anus. No, 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 no. But but <laughs> on that point, on that note, this what happened is full of shit. Um, <laughs> they Nintendo Nintendo. Nintendo Nintendo the best that they've ever Nintendo before. Um, Nintendo. 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 Yeah. yeah. Um, they they uh, requested that the creators of Pokemon Uranium cease operations and take down the game immediately. Immediately. <laughs> But After <laughs> 1.5 million downloads, 1.5 million dollars. <laughs> well, not down downloads. There you go. <laughs> I have it. Uh, I started playing it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, PC only, obviously, because well, you know, the, it's well, yeah. it's even even if even if Nintendo did ask them to you know stop um, stop uh, providing the game. Game is already out there. It's like 1.5 million persons. That is no, like they so can't much. Catch that's, down that's, no, no. that's more people. That's more than, than the actual number of people who play the actual Pokemon. At this at this point, it's gonna just like oh, I don't have it. Oh, I have it. Let me send it to you. Yeah. At this point, it's just gonna How go. How many torrents do you think there there are that are offering uh, the game? There's no way you can't shut it off now. No, no, the machine is the machine is rolling. There's no way to stop it. This is it. like the fappening for. Doesn't <laughs> the fappening? Oh this God, Alex. <laughs> And to end uh, today's last week in gaming, um, PlayStation 4.5, aka the Neo, um, will officially be announced next month. Uh, they've dated a date for the announcement. Uh, the well, I mean, okay, people are speculating, but let's be honest, it's a PlayStation meeting, which is something they do, you know, I think quarterly or something like that. And it's dated for September 7th at 3 p.m. at the PlayStation Theater in New York. Yay. They're probably gonna present it live, huh? Um, I'm sure it will be online streaming. Most often, yes. Yeah. yeah, because they present games too, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, they're likely gonna basically announce stuff that wasn't ready to be announced at E3. Ooh. But everybody is speculating essentially that they're officially going to announce the Neo, which corroborates with some other things that I've heard from insider information. Uh, that yes, they will indeed be announcing the Neo because developers have their Neos. So developers are already working, making them. games with their Neos. Um, so I mean, it makes sense. Uh, they sent out invitations to media sources so that uh, they can be at the event. 
I look forward to it. Actually, I'm not so excited for the Neo itself because it's just another upgrade to the existing. Yeah, we, we've talked console, about it right? before. We've talked about like a lot of stuff, but it's actually what they're they haven't announced since E3 that interests me because. What else could they say that we haven't already seen mm -hmm. at E3? Nothing too important. I, you don't think? I, no. You don't think there's gonna be like this like massive announcement that like just was just not ready for that moment, and they're gonna just bring it out at the. You never know. You never know, but I find that oh, but, but you know what's coming out? Gamescom. You yeah. know, yeah. Gamescom in uh, Cologne. So if there's gonna be a major announcement from PlayStation, it's probably gonna be there. Yeah. Hey, maybe they'll announce the Vita too. What? Are they still? They're, they're not going to do it. They're, if anything, they're not going to do it what? for North America. <laughs> if there's any Vita involved, they're not going to promote it for. Maybe America. they're going to announce the Sony NX. It's basically a Vita that you can plug into your TV, but it's super powered. Oh wait, did I just announce that the NX is? It's a Vita that you can plug into a TV, which you can actually do with a Vita. Wait, is it PlayStation TV? Is the NX PlayStation TV? All right, that'll be it for this week's last week in gaming. <laughs> Yes, I'm Mike. Please. This is Alex. That's Luis. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you for watching our videos. If you want to see some more awesome content, don't forget to follow a couple of little videos over here and don't forget to subscribe. If you would like to see some awesome swag like this TMS cap, don't forget to check on the description below for Manson clothing designs. And if you want to get some free awesome games, don't forget to check gamer giveaways right in the description below. Thank you and goodbye.